Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope everything is going very well. When we, we, when we believe, when we believe in Hashem, and, and, in, and not only just in Hashem, but in His plan, and in the way in which He, he is um, developing things, um, unf the way in which He chooses to make things unfold, when we believe in that, then we, then we allow ourselves to experience the best version possible of what's coming. There's two levels to this. Not only, first of all, we allow ourselves to experience the situation in a way, in a, in a way where we see it through a positive, through a, through, um, through a happy lens, through a lens which is a revealed good, where we see the good in what we experience. But not only just that. In fact, there's a much deeper level to this as well. That when we believe in Hashem, we have faith in Hashem, we have trust in Hashem, that things will develop in a positive way, we actually change the outcome to, to, to develop in a far more positive and um, good way, so to speak. Of course, we know everything that comes from Hashem is good. But what do I mean when I say we allow ourselves to experience it in a, in a, in a more good way? What does that mean? To, that the good will be more revealed, that we'll be able to see the good revealed, we'll be able to feel it, we'll be able to appreciate it be able to taste it. We won't have to remind ourselves, ah, you know, this was painful, but it will be good. No, it's good right now. That's why, you know, we could find ourselves in, in, in situations where, where the odds are against us, where all of our calculations seem to, seem to point to our failure, God forbid. But that's when we really have to just let go of ourselves. And as usual, let Hashem take the wheel and put our trust in Him. Because that is what causes Hashem the greatest pleasure. It's much easier to believe in Hashem, to have trust, to have faith in Hashem, to praise Him when things are good, you know, when things go smooth. You know, of course, sometimes it's hard to, sometimes people, they, they, they put the, they put their, they, they give themselves their own credit for success. So then, of course, there's people who can, God forbid, there's situations where people forget about Hashem. But, Generally, it's much easier to have trust, to have faith, to have confidence in Hashem when things are running smoothly. But when things are, you know, when the table, you know, when the tables are starting to turn and things are, things are looking, um, things are looking uh, discouraging, it is in that very situation where one has no other choice but to put their trust in Hashem. Why? Because this is the, this is the turning point. When a person finds themselves in a challenging situation, where the calculations aren't adding up, and then they trust in Hashem, then that's, that's when they supersede all of physicality, and they rain down, they, they cause Hashem to rain down miracles upon them. Because Hashem sees Hashem, this, this causes Hashem so much joy, if we only just appreciate even just a little drop of the amount of joy this causes Hashem, we'd be, in, we'd be, may we all merit to, to appreciate this level, we're all, we're all, uh, you know, we all, we're all trying, but this is really such a deep secret. Such a deep secret. And this is about the idea of trusting in Hashem. That the amount of pleasure this causes Hashem, when a person finds himself in a disappoint, seemingly disappointing situation, but yet, in, the, in, spite, in the face of this, of, this, of, this, of this challenge, they put their trust in Hashem. This causes Hashem tremendous pleasure and this allows the deepest level of their soul to be revealed. And the Rebbe speaks about this. The Rebbe speaks about this in, in, in a Sicha. I've spoken about this in previous videos, but it's worth noting again. The Rebbe says that, you know, what does it mean to have faith? The general way of think of, of which is a high level in and of itself, the general way of having faith is seeing what you're going through and recognizing and appreciating that even though it doesn't seem good right now, it's going to be good and it's from Hashem and it will all be good in the end. This is a very deep level. For a person to find himself in a difficult situation but yet to come to the, not just to recognize but to really live with this idea that this is going to be good, it's a deep level because it's one thing to, to under intellectually know that this is the way we're supposed to, 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 to live. But it's another level to take it, take the intellect and bring it in, into action. And even though you find yourself in a difficult situation, you, you, the, way you, 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 the way you act, your very action, your very physical being 
is, is manifesting in a way of belief in Hashem, that even though it's such a difficult situation, you're so confident in Hashem that you act in a confident way. This is actually how you take it to the next level, by acting in a way that you, you're living with this faith in Hashem, this trust in Hashem. It's a very high level, but the Rebbe takes it to an even deeper level. The Rebbe says, look, it's true, that's a very high level to appreciate that everything's from Hashem and everything's for the good and everything will be good in the end. The Rebbe takes it a step higher. He says, no, we have to even have so much trust in Hashem that it is good right now. Right now it will be good. And even if in this very moment it seems confusing, I have so too much trust in Hashem that it will immediately be revealed to me how this is for the good. I won't have to wait a few years for things to, the pieces of the puzzle to come together and then, okay, this was for the good. Right now it's going to be good. And that is the highest level. And that is the level that the Rebbe introduces to us for this generation. That we have to live our lives in a way of, of, of right now is good. And this is such a high level. If we really think about it, because we can find ourselves in so many difficult situations, God forbid. But we have the ability to flip it on its head and, and live it in a good way. And when we do that, it may seem above logic in a way. It may not seem always logical to behave in such a way. But that's why it is such a high level. It is from the, 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 the it's called shtus de ktusha, the fulliness, the craziness of holiness. Craziness has, could either be, you could be crazy in a way of, of, of um, impurity, which is obviously very bad. A person could also be crazy, channel that craziness in a holy way. And the Rebbe tells us how to do this, how to do this. How do, how do we do this? By behaving in a way that is not logical, but in a way of holiness. Even though I find myself in a difficult situation right now and it doesn't make sense and all my calculations are adding up to, to point towards my failure, I'm happy right now it's going to be good. Hashem immediately is going to redeem me and things are going to be perfect. Things are going to be in a revealed good way. All... I, I, not only do I believe in this, but I trust in Hashem, and not only do I trust in Hashem, I know and I'm confident and I'm sure, I'm certain that Hashem is going to make it happen in a revealed good way. Because this word, word bitachon, it's a beautiful word. It's an, it's an even deeper level than emunah. It's the level of bitachon. The Rebbe explains how this is trust in Hashem. But, it's, but the word bitachon also means I'm certain, I have certainty in Hashem that He's going to make it good for me. And, and this is why, you know, a person came to the Tzemach Tzedek, if I'm not mistaken, and his father was very sick and he was very uh, distraught. And he says, Rebbe, my father is sick. Uh, what do I do? What does the Tzemach Tzedek say to him? He says, Tracht good and sein good. Think good and it will be good. And lo and behold, his father was healed. So we see, by thinking good, not only, the simple meaning is by thinking good, you, you're able to tap into the good in the situation and you see things through a positive lens. But the deeper level is the really, the thinking good brings even more good upon you. That the more you're happy, the happiness is a magnet for, for more joy to come down upon you. And by that same token, God forbid, a person's sadness and um, misery and, and anger, God forbid, draws down more of that negative stuff. Chas v'sham. So we have to increase in our joy, increase in our trust, and we overcome our own logic. It's important, logic, intellect is very powerful, but sometimes we can't let that be our highest point of connection. Because sometimes our own calculations can destroy us if we make them the most important thing. And that's why the Jewish nation, they conquered the nation of Cheshbon. Cheshbon means calculations. We have to conquer our own, our own calculations when all odds are against us and every factor that we calculate is pointing towards our demise, God forbid. That's when we activate our craziness within us, which is called the shtus de kedusha, the craziness of the holy realm, which means I'm, we're acting in a crazy way because it doesn't make sense to, to believe in Hashem when the odds are so low. But that is when you draw out the deepest level of your soul, which is above logic, which is the, the Hashem himself them where we connect with the deepest point of our logic because as you know logic is limited Hashem, Hashem um, he hides himself and that's why the world exists in such a uh, organized you know a very uh, calm organized way so to speak but Hashem, and in a seemingly finite way but Hashem is beyond infinite so when we when we overcome our own limitations even our intellectual limitations then we connect the beyond infinite to Hashem himself and that is when we're able to draw down miracles upon us and all of our nation, all of the world. And may Hashem bless you, all of you, if you're Jewish.
to succeed, to serve Hashem, to, to fulfill the Torah mitzvah, to spread it with others to the highest degree. If you're a Gentile, to, to God, may Hashem bless you to fulfill the seven laws of Noach and all their details and to have a relationship with the Creator and to share it with others. We all, we're all able to tap into this level that whenever, you know, usually people see these challenges these days when sometimes people are feeling um, not as good as they'd like to, emotionally, mentally, on a specific day. That is the perfect opportunity to put your faith in Hashem, your trust in Hashem to test, to action. It is in those situations that impress Hashem the most when we have faith and trust in Him. And that, it's actually through those difficult situations that we're able to even bring out a deeper relationship with Hashem within ourselves, with like to connect towards Hashem, where we're able to develop our relationship with Hashem and take it to an even higher level. So these very difficulties that we find are actually opportunities to enhance our relationship with the Creator and may we live with this and act it. We have to take this level of faith, of, of, of trust in Hashem and bring it into our very action because action is the lowest point of us. You know, our action is seemingly physical, it's very low, but it's the highest level because, you know, it works in like a mirror image. The lowest action the lowest action is, is from the highest source. So when our very physical action is permeated with godliness, that's how we have truly transformed the physicality into and fused within spirituality. May Hashem bless you. May we succeed on this mission.